Photolithography, the art and science of printing on silicon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, photolithography. This term is crucial in the world of electronics and technology, and understanding it can open doors to a deeper appreciation of how modern gadgets are made. Let's explore this term together and uncover its significance. Photolithography is a complex but incredible process used in microfabrication to pattern parts of a thin film or the bulk of a substrate. It uses light to transfer a geometric pattern from a photo mask to a light-sensitive chemical photo resist on the substrate. A series of chemical treatments then either engraves the exposure pattern into the material or enables deposition of a new material in the desired pattern. This is essential in the creation of circuit boards and semiconductor devices. The journey of photolithography began in the mid-20th century, evolving from simple techniques to the highly advanced processes we see today. This evolution played a key role in the development of microelectronics. The ability to create incredibly small and precise patterns has been fundamental in the miniaturization of electronic components, leading to the powerful and compact devices we use in our daily lives. Photolithography is at the heart of making integrated circuits. These circuits are what power our computers, smartphones, and numerous other electronic devices. The technique has been refined over the years to create patterns on a nanometer scale, allowing for an astonishing amount of computing power to be packed into a tiny chip. It's a perfect example of how precision and technology can work together to drive innovation. Let's break down the process. 1. Preparation. The surface of the substrate, usually a silicon wafer, is prepared. 2. Photoresist application. A light-sensitive layer is applied. 3. Exposure. The photoresist is exposed to light through a photo mask, creating a pattern. 4. Development. The exposed photoresist is developed, revealing the pattern. 5. Etching or deposition. The pattern is either etched into the substrate or used for deposition of another material. 6. Removal of photoresist. Finally, the remaining photoresist is removed. Photolithography might seem like a distant, high-tech process, but it's closer to our daily lives than we might think. Every electronic device we use, from smartphones to laptops, relies on the technology developed through photolithography. It's a cornerstone of the digital age, making it a vital piece of modern technology. I hope this video has shed light on the fascinating world of photolithography and its impact on technology and our everyday lives. Understanding such complex processes can enrich our appreciation of the devices we use every day. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to exploring more exciting topics with you in the future. Stay curious!